everyone it's Jen here and welcome to my channel today I'm going to be drawing and painting this beautiful gray horse in its paddock in watercolor for you so I'll start by drawing the horse and I take all the measurements off the horse's head so I draw the head first and then the neck is two and a half times the length of the, the head and the back is two times two and a half times the length of the neck of the head and the legs are one and a half times the length of the head so I measure everything against the head and then I continue on with the drawing and and then I'll draw a little bit of the background I just roughly sketch in the focus is going to be the horse so I roughly sketch in the background and I'll do the background will be more of a impression like I'll just show an impression of a background to give you the idea of the background but the focus is going to be on this lovely grey horse So I start with the grass and I use a very, very diluted wash of sap green. So lots of water, a little bit of pigment, and I just add that bottom lightest color of grass. Then I go into where I can see the shadow areas and I use sap green, just more pigment, less water, and it just comes out slightly thicker. And I pop that on while it's still wet. So it gives you a sort of smooth blending of the paints together. And yeah, I continue that around anywhere I can see the darker shadows in the paddock underneath the horse. I can see a little bit of brightness in that sky in the background so I just add some yellow. Now for the trees and the shrubs in the background behind the horse, like I said before it's just going to be an impression. So I'm just adding some olive green and I'll also add some brown to that. So I'm just using my olive green, a little bit of water and adding sort of splotches to create the effect of leaves and I'll take that everywhere I can see those and I sort of cut around the edge of the horse quite carefully so I don't get it onto the horse's body. And yeah, I'll take that all around. So that's olive green. And then I'll add a little bit of burnt umber to that as well to help create some uh, interest. And it creates different colors to the leaves. You don't want everything just green. So you want to add some browns, add some blues, you know, make it a little bit varied in, in the colors. For the tree, I add yellow ochre. And while that's still wet, I will drop some burnt umber in over the top just to create the illusion of the effect of the bark on the trees. And I'll just do that and I'll add a little bit more of a darker brown at this sort of um, onto the posts that are behind the horse. So that's burnt umber with a little bit of blue makes a darker gray. And now I'm going to use a bit of the green. I'm actually mixing my olive green with a bit of brown and I'm adding even darker greens. I'm adding a bit to the tree and I'm adding it to the darkest shadows underneath the horse and on the branches and also on those posts in the background behind the horse. And, I'll use a ve and I've created those shadows under those posts. And I'll just add a little bit of texture just to create the sort of the illusion of grass just directly underneath the horse. Now, as you can see, the horse is gray. So for the lightest parts of the horse, I'm going to leave the white of the paper. So I create a very diluted wash of burnt umber, cobalt blue, which makes a very pale gray or a very nice gray. The more water you add, the more pale it will be. And I start by building up the shadows on the horse and all the light parts will be the light of the paper. So I start with the burnt umber and cobalt blue mix very diluted then you can see i add a little bit more blue into the darker shadow areas and i start to get more pigment less water the darker i get and that will create the stronger shadow tones for me
So as you can see, there's sun in the background and I'm adding the reflections. I'm adding some yellow to the highlights of the horse, just where the sun, you can see it reflecting on the horse in the reference photo. Um, so I'm just adding little touches of yellow to the horse to help me to create that highlight. And now for the darkest darks on the shadows of this horse, I'm using almost pure cobalt blue in the darkest areas. And I'll add some final details and make everything and add the hooves, which I add a grayish tone to them. And yeah, adding the final details now just to get this horse to look correct. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I will see you all in the next video. Have an awesome day and I'll see you then. Okie doke. Bye.